Welcome to this package in which you are able to interact with a button physically. As you can see in the VR world, you can move your hand and the button will, will act. So this is achieved by using two gliders, one for the part that is going to move and one for the static part, as you can see here. And whenever they get closed, uh, a variable is going to be called or a function. So you, if you go to the force button script, you are able to change the color also of the hit uh, stage as you can see here in the example. So uh, by changing that um, public variable, you will be able to do that. Then, uh, let me erase that for a second. If you go and and you go to the play button base and you want to set the actions to none, okay, you just go and you will have a button that is not going to have any kind of functionality. That is this example here, okay? Nevertheless, if you want to write your own function, as I'm doing now, you can go to the uh, to the script, the action script, and there I have implemented a part of the script for writing your stuff there. So you write your actions, and then according to the name that you're going to set into the act function, you're going to be able to uh, call one actions or another. Okay. So uh, this act uh, public function is called from the force button inside the press button that is going to be called at the same time when the colliders hit, okay? So be sure that you have created your action before calling it. Now let's move to the other scene, the scene of the slider. I'm not going to save this. The slider works um, practically at the same way, but um, it's going to move a game object that in this case is going to be called the uh, slider hit, and it's going to obtain a float that's going to be like the mean value of the position of that po of that uh, game object. Okay, so. Let's see how it works. If I move the hand, you will see how the slider is loading. Okay, you can see here um, the loading bar, and you can get to 100%. In that case, you can see also that the button can get to the maximum, and then you can do the opposite thing with the slider and get to the zero value. Um, so, if you see all the game objects, you have the slider back, the slider hit which is the main um, part of the slider that is going to... It, it doesn't need the box collider if you don't want it. And then the slider here is the object that is moving and has the script, the force script. So you have the min and the max positions that are going to be the limits. And then you have the field start and the field finish that in this case are the same. But in fact, they are the points where the line render is going to be created. So for example, they are this point here and that point there. So I'm going to explain how the uh, float and the mean value uh, or the value of the slider is obtained. We have the position of the moving part and the initial position, okay? And this is how we obtain the, uh, the value. We uh, subtract them and then uh, we, uh, we calculate the percentage of that, of that position. So thanks for watching this tutorial. I think everything is pretty much uh, explained. Uh, if you have any questions, please write us to michael.solar.baity uh, at gmail.com and we will be glad to answer your questions. Remember that we're a group of students passionate by VR and we want to change the world and share our ideas with you.